Hi, Tim. How you doing, sir? I'm good. Uh, you got around the horn today? I got it tomorrow. 372 career wins, sir. Oh, I know, and I've seen most of them. You have. You 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 have chronicled quite a few of them. I have. I I do get disappointed at uh, sometimes. I'll I'll say that you got cheated there, but uh, yeah. you know, yes. it's been quite a run for you. Yes. All right. Well, that yes. was the only reason why I wanted to have you on. Okay. Yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Call anytime. Uh, <laughs> they the. How come the Cowboys can't sign both Des Bryant and DeMarco Murray? Uh, I, I think they can. I, I mean, I don't think anybody here is worried about losing Des Bryant. He, they, they will sign him. They may franchise him. He may be very upset about that, but they will get him. Uh, you know, DeMarco Murray, I think, is a very tough question. I think they should sign him. I think he's got a lot left, but they have to look carefully at all the numbers of guys who, you know, have 400, 450 touches in a year. And what happens to Jamal Anderson after that, and Sean Alexander and, and uh, Ricky Williams and a lot of these guys. And they have to, they have to be very careful about doing it in a way that they don't have to have him two or three years from now. If, if he does hit a wall, because a lot of these guys hit a wall. How did the Cowboys keep the big three together with Troy and Mike and Emmett? Well, if you remember, they had some. Well, they didn't have any trouble with Troy, uh, but they initially signed Troy to a very uh, cowboy-friendly contract. Nobody thought it was at the time, but but uh, the Cowboys actually did a great job with Lee Steinberg in his initial contract, and he was very underpaid by the end of his deal. Emmett, as you recall, uh, sat out the first two games of 1993. His negotiation was the toughest uh, for Jerry Jones to deal with. And the funniest thing about that is he was always asking, because I was the beat writer in 1993, Emmett wanted four years and $16 million, which is about what Thurman Thomas was getting. Last year, the Cowboys finally offered a running back four years and $16 million, but it was DeMarco Murray, and it was 21 years <laughs> later. Uh, do the, I, I look at the most valuable Cowboy as actually Cowboys, and it's the offensive line. That, that, that You've had things in place there, but what changed was the offensive line. Is that, is that sometimes lost on people that they look and go, oh, you got to keep DeMarco Murray? To me, that offensive line was different than we'd seen in previous years. And, and that's what nobody really knows, because Joseph Randall, for all his uh, off-the-field issues, when he played last year, he averaged uh, 6.7 yards per carry. And so they're all trying to figure out what if somebody else is the running back? What if we took a guy in the second round? Uh, would he come in behind this line, behind this line, and average five yards a carry like Demarco Murray did? Uh, I think Demarco Murray did a lot after contact, yep. and and I think he's great at using those blockers. And not everybody is as good at that, but but it, it, it's a tremendous question because three first round picks. The other guys are the other guys are pretty good. It, it's a it's a terrific line. You also have Amari Stoudemire in town. Mark yes, Cuba. we do. Yeah, Mark Cuban. <laughs> How excited are you that you have Amari Stoudemire in town? Well, the the big question is, will the Hill Country, the Texas Hill Country wet red wines be, be <laughs> enough for him? We have a nice Malbec. I think he'll like it. But, but you know, it's it's not – he could have gone to California, and we know what's out there. Yeah, there's a lot of great wine. If, if the Dallas Morning News said, would you get in a bathtub with Amari Stoudemire and take a wine bath with him? Would you do it? Well, first of all, Dan, you know my drinking issue. Oh, that's right. So this, could, this could be a dangerous, <laughs> a dangerous journey for me. But assuming I don't get in with a straw <laughs> and I keep my head above water, uh, I, I would wear, I would wear a bathing suit. Yes, for the good of the newspaper. In these tough times, I would do it. How about non-alcoholic wine bath with a morning star? There you go. There we go. There you go. <laughs> I'm not sure it has the same healing agent, but we, we could we could try a nice. Have you uh, uh, Rose? Have you covered the NFL Combine? Yes, Dan. I covered it in 1991, <laughs> and uh, it was you John sound Clayton. proud of that. It was it was John Clayton, Len Pascarelli, and I, and we sat in the lobby of the Holiday Inn, and they say, here, <laughs> "Here, this receiver, he went to Southern, but his name's Jimmy Smith. Would you guys talk to him?" Yeah, we'll talk to him. Uh, <laughs> there were more people, seriously, in Indianapolis covering the Mike Tyson trial that week than covering the combine. They gave out a thousand credentials this week for yeah. the combine. That's amazing. Why? Yeah. I don't get it. I now I know that there's there's the NFL coaches and GMs. You you can go there and talk to them. We're Jones in for a little football, but 
to watch the combine, that gets I, lost I think, on I me. think it's all for the interviews. I mean, you can get those players. You can you can get you know five minutes with fifty different players if you if you time it right. And but the can, fans are watching too, though, Tim. That's what I, I mean. Are we that hard up for football that we're going to watch guys in shorts? Uh, the NBA took a very long All Star break this year, Dan. I don't know if you know, but they haven't been any games for a week. I mean, people need something in their lives. You know, you know, watching the Dallas Stars is enough for me, but it's not for everyone. Um, we do appreciate the shout outs that you occasionally give this program. I know that I have managed to sneak those in past the censors. But have you ever gotten? Did anybody ever say, in all truthfulness, that hey, you know, don't do that on around the horn when you win? Uh, nobody has said. Anything there have been things that I've said that I've wondered about if I would hear about them, especially when I talked about ESPN's extensive coverage of the Little League of the World Series. <laughs> but uh, nobody has said anything to this point. About however, I, however, I am down to two shows a week. Uh oh. <laughs> Who is the star of Around the Horn besides Tony Reale? Besides Tony Reale, uh, Woody's chalkboard. I think yeah. is a big is a big draw. You want to see what's up there? So, in, in, the big board. In, in, in animal object is the star of Around the Horn. <laughs> I think so. I think so. Okay, it's best. It's best watched. Like I hear from people all the time, we watch it on a treadmill with the sound off. I think that's probably a good one. <laughs> you work it off and don't listen. Give me your Mount Rushmore of Around the Horn. <sighs> well, you know, yours truly has to be there. Hell yeah. Uh, and I'm going to go with Woody, his all-time wins leader. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm going to go with the surprise of Pablo Torre, probably the best young participant in the last few years. And uh, I've got to go with J.A. Adonde with the Adonde mm, Lounge. Man. It's a strong group, isn't it? I might have to and, put and – look, And look what I left on the table. Oh, I know. I know. Now you're going to upset some people, but that's oh, why I asked the question. Yeah, uh, I'll I gotta, get Bomani anytime. Yeah. I got to put in Bo just for pop culture, and yeah. I and I got to I got to represent uh, I, you know Jackie McMullen. I, I might go Woodrow Page, obviously. I'm going to go Bo. I'm going to go Jackie. And I might go Mariotti. You're missing somebody. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I don't mean Bob Ryan. You just got replaced by Mariani. Oh, that's tough to yeah, hear. Yeah. Mm. I, I, it's, I know. I'm sorry. I know. I'm looking I at know. all demos here. I know. I know. <laughs> You've got a strong group. There's not much I can say. You know, sports writer on the wagon. I'm sorry. I mean, you got that yeah. covered, but uh, I really? need, to, you know, there's other, other <laughs> categories. What else do I have going for me? Very, very little, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Uh, keep the cards and letters and, of course, the pictures uh, coming my way. I will. I, I, I will. Always, I'll always... have some new ones soon. Do you love this girl? Are you getting married? Uh, yes and no. <laughs> you love that, <laughs> that girl? Order. You love that, that girl? Order. Okay. She seems like she's a very, very nice woman. Very nice. Very, Very nice. special. Ho- hopefully you'll meet her on one of your odd visits to Dallas. All right. Thank you, Tim. All right, sir. That's uh, Tim Callishaw, Dallas Morning News and Around the Horn.